The production of microchips is centered on Asia, particularly Taiwan. The country had virtually cornered the market in high-end chips to run processing in anything from mobile phones to automobiles. However, geopolitical uncertainty and the supply chain issues associated with the COVID pandemic highlighted the risks of having production centered in one specific region. That led the US to pass the CHIPS Act in 2022, aiming to strengthen the US semiconductor industry. The Act has allocated more than $52 billion of taxpayer money to incentivize the construction and expansion of semiconductor fabrication plants in the country. So far, eight major companies have been recipients of cash from the CHIPS Act. Top of the list is Intel, which has been given $8.5 billion to help construct manufacturing plants in Arizona, Oregon, New Mexico, and Ohio. Next up is TSMC of Taiwan, which has $6.6 billion for its three advanced chip fabrication plants in Arizona. Samsung has received almost as much as TSMC, with a $6.4 billion handout for its plants in Texas. And rounding out the top recipients is Micron, which has a little over $6.1 billion to help pay for its $100 billion facility in New York. The semiconductor industry has developed its miniaturization scale called nanometers for marketing purposes. The smaller the number, the more computational and power efficient the chip. The first TSMC plant online will produce four to five nanometer chips. If the Chips Act were repealed, it would would have to be done by Congress. However, there could be a political backlash from President Trump's party as many plants under construction are in Republican states. One of the factors prevalent in legislators' minds when coming up with incentives for chip production in the US has been China's growing strategic importance. As President Trump kind of admitted, Taiwan and China are where the expertise in producing microchips is centered, not the United States, which is something his administration would like to address. Even before the re-election of Donald Trump, some of the chip makers were ringing alarm bells. TSMC has put back the date it expects to have its third plant up and running by a couple of years, not for a lack of funding, but for a lack of expertise. Increased production, not just in the United States, but worldwide, means there will be pressure to staff these new facilities, and the workforce may not be available. Global demand for microchips is expected to double by the decade's end. 